Hey friends, the monsoons have arrived and the rains have started. So today we are here to see the construction of the KT Way. Hey friends, in the last video we saw the construction of Chuck Dam and its functioning. Uh, basically the Chuck Dam or Bandara, uh, it was a smaller structure co constructed across a smaller stream, uh, the width being around 10 to 15 meters. But uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, a much bigger uh, Bandara, Chuck Dam, uh, which is called as uh, KT Ware, Kolapur type Ware or Bandara. So the construction of uh, this KT Ware started in March end and the funds uh, was sanctioned through Integrated Tribal Development Project Invert under Tribal Supply 2021 and the implementation agency is soil and water conservation department end user is the gram panchayat so you can see even before the uh, kt ware is fully constructed uh, its utility is already being seen uh, there are multiple uses of kt ware underground water recharge water storage reservoir for agricultural purposes and uh, this is uh, the downstream part before the construction started this is how uh, the downstream part the, it looked this is a site uh, where the dam is being built the selection of a particular water storage structure depends on various factors ranging from location and topography, available budget and resources, and also the purpose. In this video, we focus uh, mainly on uh, uh, prevention of soil erosion, water storage reservoir, and also recharging of underground water. So, uh, based on uh, our av available budget and resources, the location, and also demand, we have selected Kolapuri type. Wear. So let us see the select features of KT Wear. So the principles are as follows. So the first one is uh, it's a concrete uh, structure within the river bed. Uh, a foundation is uh, laid and uh, then uh, the gates open in monsoons. As you can see, there are uh, almost uh, there are totally 14 vents and uh, in between vents there are gates which are operated. And then uh, yeah, it's uh, basically a water storage uh, reservoir. As you can see, even before the construction uh, of uh, the KT Ware being completed, you can see the water is being stored. The rains have already started and uh, the water uh, has trickled in. So let's talk, all, talk about the uh, measurements. So it's a 41 meter by 2 meter uh, structure and the length of the Nala is uh, 1.2 kilometers. So it comes around uh, 100 TCM. Uh, it's a very important uh, point to be noted that uh, for any water storage reservoir of capacity above 100 TCM requires water availability certificate from uh, the water resources department specifically the water resources regulatory authority and it's a very technical and elaborate process uh, to get the water availability certificate so you will get the water availability certificate only if the project is incorporated into integrated state uh, water plan I'm speaking specifically for Maharashtra and uh, I think I assume it's the same elsewhere because as you know the watershed span across districts across uh, state boundaries and also across international boundaries so governments all over the world are moving towards uh, integrated uh, uh, water basin management just like uh, the famous Murray River Basin Authority in Australia so friends uh, that's all for today I hope you found the video uh, informative and uh, again I will continue discussing more about uh, uh, water water conservation irrigation in the subsequent videos and uh, hopefully we'll come back to the same uh, kt where uh, maybe by the end of uh, october to see how uh, it looks and uh, and i am hopeful it will be a very wonderful site thank you very much